Hello kids, this is Maria Mam from Artbeat and welcome to Artbeat Online Art Sessions. So this month's theme is Incredible India. We all know that we have been working really great on this theme. And uh, today we are, I'll be talking about session five. Hello kids, this is Nadia Mam from Artbeat and welcome to Artbeat Online Art Sessions. So we all know that uh, this month's theme is Incredible India and you all are doing really superb great in all your worksheets okay so now i'm gonna talk about session uh, five yes session five i keep on forgetting so today we are going to talk about session five worksheet nine and ten wherein in worksheet nine we will be drawing two peacock feathers why is that we are drawing peacock feathers not peacock because i know that uh, uh, in our last month's in our previous last month's uh, theme, which is birds, the people are really bored drawing peacock, isn't it? So that's the reason we have chosen a different topic wherein you'll be using a soft technique to draw this peacock feather in watercolors. So this is really a, an amazing painting and it is quite challenging as well. So you will be learning a new technique, which is a soft technique where you can use in watercolors for the texture. So please follow the instructional videos and uh, going to worksheet 10, we will be drawing our father of the nation. Who is that? Yes, of course, it is Mahatma Gandhiji. Hope you all know that. If you don't know, that's really bad because you people have to know about this uh, great Indian personality who is also a freedom fighter. Okay, he died for our country and we have to be so respectful for him. Uh, and uh, coming back to the worksheet 10, I'm so sorry, I'll just uh, go away from the topic and you just have to adjust with me the, with that. Because when it comes to India, I'll be keep on talking about uh, all the things wherever it takes me, like a river. Uh, so then, <laughs> of course, coming back to the worksheet 10. So about this uh, portrait artwork. So we will be doing a portrait artwork here. So we will be using our grid method to draw the portrait of Mahatma Gandhi Chi. So uh, now probably I hope you people have used the grid method in lots of ways and lots of uh, char uh, creating characters. So here we will be doing one of the great personalities in a grid drawing and that will be obviously a pencil sketch. So you can follow the instruction of video. Any doubts you can always reach us through RB number or Google Classroom. And come let's go back to the worksheet and let's do something good. Hello kids. So in this worksheet we're gonna need our scale and sharpen pencil eraser and we need a two number brush and we need we need our watercolor cakes and we need a cup of water and we need our palette and we need a pinch of salt okay so first let's begin our artwork with drawing the four side border After on the four sided border now so first we have to apply the background so I'm taking my brush and uh, I'm applying the plain water inside the four sided border so this is a wet on wet technique as you all know this is a wet on wet technique and if you can keenly observe the background we have different kinds of shades isn't it and make sure you're not pouring too much of water as you might end up tearing the page okay so we can observe that there is a pink shade, purple shade, blue shade and also a green shade and pinch of yellow shade as well. Okay, So that's the reason I have already applied 4 to 5 drops of water in my palette and for that drops of water I have applied my purple shade and then I am applying it wherever it is required. I am applying the purple shade wherever it is required. I have applied it for the top of the border and for the left hand side and now I'm taking the dark blue shade and I'm applying it in the mid so make sure uh, to get a hold of the flowing of water if you have used too much of water then the paint will flow out of your control and you cannot do as you want so make sure you control the flow of the water do not put too much of water and also do not put less water also because we will not get this effect so the paint has to spread automatically once you apply it okay. 
Now I'm taking the green shade in my palette. Then I'm applying it wherever required for in the left hand side and the right hand side as well. Now I'm just taking the excess water or the excess paint which you can see. So if you feel the paint is excess or the water is excess, please uh, keep a waste cloth handy and take out, take out the paint. It is almost done now. So now I am just making the shades because uh, behind the peacock feather, if you can see, it is a plain shade which we can see. And for that, I'm even uh, giving a purple shade. You can see the purple shade now, here and there. So now what do we do is, we will take a pinch of salt. So this is the salt technique, which we have used in our first week, okay? So we are taking a pinch of salt and pouring it to create the texture. In order to create the texture, we are pouring the salt. Okay, and we will wait for some time until and unless the paint dries and then we can wipe off the salt. So once you wipe off the salt, you will get a nice neat texture where you can see it. So wherever you need more texture, you can add more salt and you can do that. So now what I'm doing is I'm not using the darker blue here. So behind the blue, we see the green shade, yellow and orange shade. Uh, as well. So first I will be painting with that. So first I have applied the green and I'm applying more darker green here. Okay, so first we will create the layers. So now I'm applying the orange shade. Make sure you wash the brush to use every color. So every time you use a new color, you have to wash it nice and neat so that the color is doesn't get mixed. Now at the end, I'm using the darker green again and I'm creating the feather shape. I've created the feather shape now. And now I'm using the darker blue for the bottom of the feather. So this is our first layer. So once it is right, then we will give the texture of blue in between. So now let's move on to the second feather which we'll be doing. So even for the second feather, I'll be doing the same. First, I'll be using the green shade for the feather. Again, I'm using the green shade. There are three layers totally of green shade. So I'll be using that. And in between, I have even used yellow. Now I'm using the blue, darker blue shade for the bottom of the feather. And now I'm using the blue, darker blue shade and I'm creating the feathers over here so as i as i know how to use the brush i'm using the same two number brush and i'm creating the feathers but you people can use a zero number brush or a triple zero brush in order to get a fine thin line for the feather so i'm creating the feathers both the sides it has to be fine thin line please remember that and if you're not uh, sure, so you can practice it in a rough sheet and then you can put it on the worksheet. Now I'm even applying the feathers on top of the uh, peacock feather. So on the top, if you can see, we can observe only few uh, feather touch. So it is not too much. It is not clumsy on the top. So I'll use as much as less possible. And now I'm making the eye of the feather. So now it's uh, as it is dried, I'm using the darker blue inside so that it doesn't get mixed up. 
and now using the strokes using the strokes i'm creating wherever we have left a white cap i'm using the blue color and creating the feather strokes use a triple zero brush for a fine feather detail so it has to be like a feather like a hair structure so it is always best to use a triple zero brush or if you know how to use a two number brush and you can make this fine thin lines that is okay i'm doing it for all the three layers now Just giving a darker shade for the green. I'm doing the same thing for the second feather over here. And even on the top, I'm doing the same. Hope you people are able to do it with me. Once it is dried, if you feel like you want it more darker shade, once it is dried, you can apply it more on top of that. And uh, I'm just uh, giving a lighter blue background as there is a white space which we can see there. So I'm just giving the white uh, blue background for that wherever it is required, wherever the darker shade is required. I'm doing that, I'm just giving the final finishing for that. And towards my right hand side, as there is a thicker blue paint, I'm applying it again. Now even I'm doing the same for my left hand side. I'm just taking a plain water and I'm spreading it out and blending it in nicely. So practice this again and, and remember, art is a good start. See you in the next session. Bye.